My name is Johnny Enoch. I am a researcher, I'm a presenter, and I will be at the Laughlin UFO Mega Conference along with 36 other incredible presenters. Now, uh, it's coming up uh, beginning uh, this weekend. Um, I see it runs June 6th through 12th. Um, tell us the, the basics. We well, know when it is, when, where is it, how do I get there? Can I just buy a ticket? Do I have to go to the whole thing? Well, uh, you said it. This event is from June 6th through the 12th. It's in Laughlin, Nevada, which isn't that far from Las Vegas. You just It's a hop, skip, and a jump over there at the Aquarius Hotel. It's in a beautiful area. And when you get there, this is a fully immersive event with cutting edge presentations and information from researchers, scientists, experiencers, people that have actually been aboard the ships. We have those folks that have been behind the scenes, like Richard Doty, talking about UAPs. We have uh, the great lawyer and disclosure activist, Daniel Sheehan there. We have the likes of Richard Dolan, who is a absolutely legendary UFO researcher. And we have some of the most incredible, mind-blowing information. You do not want to miss this. And seriously, guys, this is the, the best and biggest, greatest UFO conference that's back in action for 2021 and it's in person live. And that was my next question is it uh, is that now that we are I won't I won't say post pandemic but on the back end hopefully uh, it is all in person. Are there any uh, restrictions that you know of? Well, you know, it is a live in person event and we're we're back at it with the state of Nevada and of course, you know, we're following the CDC guidelines which you know, have stated that, you know, people are still doing health checks, they're being cautious and all those great things. But it, you know, it this is post pandemic, and things are looking good in Nevada. So, you know, it's about as normal as it's going to get. And we're very excited about that. I mean, we have our presenters there, we have areas where you can see vendors and all kinds of interesting books and services and things going on. You always meet people at these events, as you know, Duncan, you you meet mm -hmm. fascinating people with stories and experiences and information. And, and maybe there's something that's happened to someone out there that's watching this, where you've had an event where you've seen something in the sky you couldn't quite explain, or maybe you've read something or always been interested in. And this is where you're going to get the answers. Now, as far as uh, tickets, this is a, a six day event. Um, do people have to sign up and go to the, the whole thing or maybe they just have a Sunday available or next Wednesday? Is, is that OK for them to, to come down? Yes, I mean, it's most certainly ideal to come for the full event and to get the entire experience, uh, which uh, is always the best option, in my opinion, because you get to hear a bit of everything from all different angles. But of course, if you want to show up for one day or even two days, you can do that. I mean, if you go to our website, LaughlinUFOMegaConference.com, you can get passes, you can get information about nearby hotels and the best way to get there. But of course, if you want to just show up at the event and buy tickets at the door, you can also do that. And it's not just the speakers. You also have, uh, and we'll get to the speakers here in a minute, more on that, um, but uh, panels, uh, nightly sky watches, according to the site, uh, even movie premieres that uh, will be happening throughout the week. Yes, absolutely. I mean, this is this is a fully immersive event. It's absolutely mind blowing all the things you get to experience and do. It's like a cornucopia for the senses, like an intellectual buffet. You get to go there and you not only get these great presentations with all kinds of new insights, and get to interface and ask questions, uh, you know, from the audience. But, you know, there are these documentaries and movies that are getting premiered by the likes of Darcy Weir. Uh, we have Sean Stone there, who's Oliver Stone's son, and his documentary that he is going to premiere here is absolutely shocking about the Archon controllers behind the scenes and how there might be ET influences coming down into every aspect of our society. So some, uh, you know, some of these experiences you make lifelong friends and memories, such as going out on those sky watches you mentioned, mm -hmm. where you're pointing up the green laser and you're using the Dr. Stephen Greer style C-SETI protocols to go see if you can call out ships. 
Uh, this sort of stuff, you know, it, it remains with you. And everybody that attends these conferences, they come home with a glowing feeling. Uh, something really beneficial comes from every day you're there. Yeah. To the speakers, you mentioned a couple of them, the, the likes of uh, Danny Sheehan, um, who recently has been making some some headlines as uh, being uh, uh, supposedly Lou Elizondo's legal counsel. Uh, Lou is the former head of uh, ATIP with the Pentagon, um, unless you ask the Pentagon, and well, that's a whole other thing. Um, Richard Doty, as you said, uh, he was yeah. he's a proclaimed mis disinformer. Uh, however you want to say that, uh, has been at this conference before. Fascinating man. Daniel Brinkley. Uh, do you know much about Daniel Brinkley? We've, we've talked with him before. Yeah, actually, yeah, Daniel Brinkley is a very dear friend of mine. He's presenting with me. Uh, mm -hmm. He and I have a dual presentation. So my presentation is called Project Earth, Meet uh, Your Creators. And so with my presentation, it's uh, about some of the experiences I've had over in, in England where I encountered some very large, very large object that came down out of the sky and I learned about various genetic engineers on earth and various interesting things that come into the aspect with that. And Daniel and I were talking and his experiences are so fascinating, you know, with his NDEs and everything that he's been involved with and what he's seen and experienced. So it's a dynamic presentation that brings in the consciousness aspect of it and where we're going in the future. And so uh, absolutely, these presenters are very, very exciting because, you know, really quickly, you know, we start talking about this subject of UAPs and where we're going with these. We are about to unlock the science of them, Duncan. We are about to go into an area where we've never been before. You know, we're, we're learning that, you know, you go back to guys like Victor Schauberger, uh, who was looking at biomimicry in nature we're starting to see that he told us that when you study trout, trout that are moving in the water, have you, have you ever seen trout in the water, how they just kind of yeah. sit there and the water goes all around them? Yeah. Effortlessly, right? Well, he starts to learn that when you look at them, you see that they have a slime coating around them. And this slime coating creates this ambient field of electricity. There's an electro line effect. So mm -hmm. this is how this this water just kind of moves around them like a field of force well we're learning and schauberger knew this that this is how our submarines move very quickly under the water and this is how our ufos are getting here in and out of things just like those new videos you're seeing from the pentagon and the navy and believe me our presenters are going to talk about this Doty's going to talk about this the guys there are going to be getting into this subject just like you guys have been doing and we're going to dig deeper than we ever have before uh, and that leads right again to my next question, which was about, you know, are you seeing or hearing buzz about with the recent UAP UFO news? Uh, even just today, the New York Times put out a story. Uh, they had talked with some uh, higher up senior officials that uh, supposedly had been briefed on this new UFO report coming out. Um, and depending on the headline you look at, it's either good news, bad news or no news. Uh, it depends on your point of view. But are, are you hearing buzz that, like you were saying, this is going to be talked about? Is there anything specific that you can talk about as far as, you know, is, is Doty going to target right in on that? Or, or is there anyone else that's going to give something very special? Yeah, no, most certainly. We have uh, a few folks that are going to get into this. Not only Doty, but I happen to know Billy Carson is coming with some explosive new information about what's going on around our solar system. You know, the projects that are up on Mars. I mean... UAPs are just the tip of it. Uh, that's really what we're seeing in some cases out in the media, as you know, are just the fast food of disclosure. This is the McDonald's of disclosure. Uh, you know, we've been seeing stuff behind the scenes like that for years. And so now it's just coming to the, the front lines where guys like Tucker Carlson are talking about it. But, you know, in a sense, you, you have Elon Musk out there that is mentioning going to Mars and, you know, these ideas with Bezos and them heading up there. But even those folks only have a peripheral understanding of what's been actually going on up there for the last few decades and, and how, you know, how expansive these programs are and how much knowledge we do have in these areas. So what the buzz is that we're hearing is that, you know, the drip drop that we've been getting is going to be intensified. It's getting turned up. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, most certainly you're going to be hearing a lot of that. So I would also listen to what Daniel Sheehan has to say, because he's got some great new revelations that he's going to be talking about at this event. Right. Um, and then uh, is there anything else that I, that I haven't asked you about that you really want to point out? Only the fact that I really believe that everyone that has an interest in this topic, whether you have researched it, whether you've been curious about it, whether you've had an experience of your own or you know someone that's had an experience, there is no replacement for actually coming to one of these events and actually experiencing it for yourself and, and learning about it. I mean, the idea is that when, when you feel drawn to something, when you know, you're excited about it, you go there, there's, there's an answer there for you. It's like a synchronistic key that's going to open up. So please, I'd love to see all of you there. Come talk to us. Come say hello. Get the answers for yourself. Share your experiences. If you have experienced you know, extraterrestrials, if you've seen a UAP, we want to know about it. Come, come see us there. And, and this uh, the conference will also have a vendor area, correct? Absolutely. And if you have something you have to share or you want to sell there or you're, you have a service, I mean, most certainly we invite vendors to come there to set up a table, come meet and greet people. This is a great place to do it. All right. Well, I think that covers it. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. Duncan, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. You too. I think